My husband quickly married my sister after I lied about not inheriting anything. A Web of Deceit, Chapter 1, The Lie Emily stood at the edge of the grand estate, the wind whipping through her hair. She had always loved this place, the sprawling gardens and the majestic old mansion that had been in her family for generations. It was her sanctuary, her safe haven, but now it was the source of her deepest sorrow. Her father had passed away unexpectedly, leaving her the sole heir to the family fortune. Overwhelmed by grief and the burden of responsibility, Emily made a decision she would soon regret. She lied. She told her husband, David, that her father had left her nothing. I can't believe he did this to you, David had said, his voice laced with anger. After all the time and effort you put into taking care of him, Emily had nodded, her heart heavy with the weight of her deceit. She had hoped to protect her father's legacy, to keep it safe from David's insatiable greed, but she hadn't anticipated the consequences. Chapter 2. Cracks in the Marriage As weeks turned into months, Emily noticed the changes in David. He became distant, cold, and increasingly absent. Late-night meetings, unexplained trips, and hushed phone calls became the norm. Emily's heart ached with the growing suspicion that something was terribly wrong. One evening, as she sat alone in the empty mansion, Emily received a call from her sister, Rachel. Emily, we need to talk, Rachel said, her voice tense. Can you come over? Emily agreed, her curiosity piqued. She drove to Rachel's apartment, her mind racing with possibilities. When she arrived, Rachel was waiting for her, a pained expression on her face. "'What's going on?' Emily asked, her voice trembling. Rachel took a deep breath. "'Emily, there's no easy way to say this. David and I, we're together.' Emily felt the world crumble around her. "'What do you mean?' she whispered, her voice barely audible. Rachel's eyes filled with tears." After you told him about the inheritance, he came to me. He said he couldn't stay with you anymore. We got married last week. Chapter 3 Isolation Emily's heart shattered. The betrayal was more than she could bear. She had lost her husband and her sister in one fell swoop, all because of a lie. She fled from Rachel's apartment, her mind a whirlwind of pain and confusion. Days turned into weeks and Emily secluded herself in the mansion, avoiding all contact with the outside world. She pored over her father's journals, seeking solace in his words and wisdom. It was during one of these lonely nights that she discovered a hidden letter, addressed to her. My dearest Emily, the letter began, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer with you. I have always trusted you to make the right decisions, and I believe you will continue to do so. But beware of those who seek to deceive you, Trust your instincts and remember that love, true love, is worth more than all the riches in the world. Emily's tears stained the letter. Her father's words gave her the strength she needed to move forward. She resolved to reclaim her life, her legacy, and her happiness. Chapter 4 The Investigation With renewed determination, Emily sought out information about David and Rachel. She hired a private investigator, Mr. Whitaker, to uncover the truth. As weeks passed, the investigator provided Emily with detailed reports on David's and Rachel's actions. The evidence was damning. David had orchestrated the entire scheme to leave Emily and marry Rachel, believing that Emily had no wealth to offer. He had manipulated Rachel, promising her a life of luxury. Emily's heart ached for her sister, who had been unwittingly caught in David's web of deceit. One evening, Mr. Whitaker handed Emily a file filled with photographs and documents. You have enough here to expose them both, he said, but it's up to you how you want to proceed. Emily nodded, clutching the file. She knew what she had to do. Chapter 5. The Confrontation Emily arranged a meeting with David and Rachel, choosing a neutral location to avoid a public scene. She arrived early her heart pounding with a mix of anxiety and determination. When David and Rachel walked in, Emily felt a surge of emotions, but remained composed. David, Rachel, we need to talk, 
Emily said, her voice steady. David looked up, surprised to see her. Emily, what are you doing here? I know the truth, she said, holding up the file, and I won't let you take everything from me. David's expression hardened. You lied to me, Emily. You said there was no inheritance. I did, Emily admitted. But that doesn't justify what you did. You betrayed me, married my sister, and tried to steal my family's legacy. Rachel stepped forward, her face pale. Emily, we never meant to hurt you. Emily shook her head. It's too late for apologies. I'm here to reclaim what is rightfully mine. She handed over the file, letting them see the evidence of their deceit. This is going to the authorities, she said. You won't get away with this. Chapter 6. The Legal Battle The legal battle that followed was long and arduous. Emily faced numerous challenges, but she remained resolute. With the help of a skilled attorney, she presented her case, exposing David and Rachel's betrayal. David tried to fight back, but the evidence was overwhelming. Rachel, torn between loyalty to her sister and her misguided love for David, eventually testified against him. Her testimony was the final nail in the coffin of David's defense. After months of courtroom drama, the judge ruled in Emily's favor. She reclaimed the estate and the family fortune, but more importantly, she reclaimed her sense of self-worth and dignity. David was sentenced to prison for fraud and embezzlement, his schemes finally catching up with him. Rachel, though spared from prison, faced her own reckoning. She had lost everything and had to rebuild her life from scratch. Chapter 7 Rebuilding Emily returned to the mansion, now free from the shadows of deceit. She opened the estate to the public, turning it into a place of learning and community, honoring her father's legacy in a way that he would have been proud of. The mansion became a beacon of hope and renewal, a testament to the power of truth and the resilience of the human spirit. Emily's heart slowly healed. She found joy in her work, in the connections she made with people who came to visit the estate. She discovered a passion for teaching and began offering workshops on gardening, history, and philanthropy, sharing her knowledge and experiences with others. Chapter 8. New Beginnings Years later, Emily found love again. This time, it was with someone who valued her for who she was, not for what she had. His name was Jack, a kind-hearted architect who admired Emily's strength and dedication. They met at one of the estate's community events, where Jack was volunteering his time to help with renovations. Emily was drawn to his gentle nature and his genuine interest in her work. They spent hours talking, sharing their dreams and aspirations. As their relationship blossomed, Emily realized that she had found something she thought she had lost forever, true love. Jack respected her independence, supported her goals, and cherished her for who she was. Epilogue Emily and Jack married in a small, intimate ceremony held in the mansion's garden. Surrounded by friends and loved ones, Emily felt a sense of peace and happiness she had never known before. The mansion, once a symbol of deceit and sorrow, now stood as a testament to love, resilience, and new beginnings. Emily continued her work at the estate, with Jack by her side. Together, they built a life filled with trust, respect, and genuine happiness. The mansion flourished under their care, becoming a vibrant community hub and a symbol of hope for all who visited. And as Emily stood in the garden, watching the sun set over the horizon, she knew that she had found her true inheritance, the strength to overcome betrayal and the courage to build a new future. Inheritance of Lies Emily's world crumbles when her husband, David, marries her sister, Rachel, after she lies about not inheriting her father's estate. In a desperate attempt to protect her family's legacy, Emily is left isolated and heartbroken. However, a hidden letter from her late father reveals the strength she needs to confront the betrayal and reclaim her life. As Emily battles through a web of deceit, she uncovers the truth and finds redemption. 
With resilience and courage, she transforms her family's mansion into a beacon of hope, ultimately discovering true love and a brighter future.